Hello YouTubers, my name is Flexo013 and welcome to part 4 of our Extreme World Edit tutorial. This time we'll be discussing commands like copying and pasting certain objects in the world. Okay, let's start. Let's say we have this house over here with nice windows, a torch, a roof, and a bed, a chest, and a furnace. Let's say we like this house a lot and we want to copy it for somebody else. Then first let's select the entire uh, house by going across the diagonal of the house so it, you will select this entire cube. We want to make sure that we also select the floor so we have to select this block over here. Now replacing this, there we go. Now we have our entire house selected, but that shouldn't be 8 blocks, so there we go, 125 blocks seems right to me. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is copy or selection. The, the selection is our house, so we would do slash slash copy. And remember to stand in a certain spot of your house. I will stand on this block of dirt next to the uh, pillar made out of wood. Okay, so over here we want to copy it, this house like to be our neighbor. Then stand over here because we will paste this entire building the same way we copied it. So I was standing over there, so the house, the wooden pillar will be over here and the house will be over there. Let me show you. Slash slash paste. We'll make the wooden pillar over there and the house over here. We could also make the two houses merge a little bit by first removing this house with slash slash undo. See we got some items that weren't removed because the floor was removed underneath them. We could do slash slash paste and the two walls would merge together as one. But there is one tiny thing with world edit that is not uh, that they couldn't fix. As you can see everything is standing nice over here in this house but in the house we pasted everything rotated to a default position. As you can see the chest rotated by 90 degrees. As you can see and the furnace, which was standing like this at first, rotated 180 degrees, as you can see. So that's that are tiny things that you need to fix, but apart from that, sometimes doors glitch as well, but this time it didn't, which is great. And that's how you copy and paste something. Uh, but let's say we want more of these houses, and we want them to be over there. So we could make like a small uh, marketplace. Then we f would first have to rotate this first building by 90 degrees clockwise. So that would be slash slash rotate 90 degrees. Now it's rotated 90 degrees clockwise which will make the entire uh, house move that way. So if I would stand over here the wooden pillar would be over there. So let's now do slash slash paste. And there we go. You see the bat popped off because the, it was it was trying to uh, be like this, but there was a wall, so it popped off. So even bats uh, have the error of changing uh, when pasting. And the door still worked great. Now let's say we want another one. We could just do slash slash paste again. And now we want one on the other side as well. So we could do slash slash rotate 90 again. Rotate 90 degrees. And then slash slash paste. Works perfectly fine except for the furniture not working as it's supposed to be. So as you can see we already generated five of these houses. But now we want there to be a street over here, because you have to enter this place somewhere, from somewhere, so 
this would be the street coming from over here. So we don't want a house over here. But we do want a house over there. So then we could just do a sl slash slash rotate 90 again. You can also do slash slash rotate 180 or 270 as you like. You could do a slash slash rotate 360 even, but that won't change anything. So it's uh, daytime again. So we uh, change our selection from what we had over here to 90 degrees, uh, a, turn of a turn of 90 degrees, and then we'll have to stand over here. The wooden pillar will be over here, and the house will be, and the door will be over here. It will be blocked by this dirt blocks. You will see. Slash slash paste. Oh. Nope, I did not rotate them. I forgot to do that. So I made an error. I can simply do slash slash undo and do slash slash rotate 90 and do slash slash paste. There we go, the wooden pillar is over there and the door is behind the the dirt blocks. We could paste it one more time over here and now we have ourselves a little village with uh, seven identical houses. Isn't that nice? Okay, so the next thing is, let's say we want a nice pat pattern on the floor over here, and we will make it out of this color of wood and this one. And we want this to be on the entire floor over here. How would we do that? Simply by using the stack command. We will first select these four blocks, and we will stack that into one way. This time you have to, uh, we want to stack it this way. So that's one time two blocks, two times two blocks, three times. So we want to stack it three times that way. So we will do slash slash stack three. You do not need to do slash slash copy or anything. It will just stack it, copy this section and place it right next to it. And again, and again, three times as we said we needed. Now we will select this part and this part over here and do exactly the same that way. Remember the way you're looking is very important. So slash slash stack 3. There we go. Now the only thing we need to fix is this edge but manually that won't be a lot of work and if you really want to do it with well, that you would copy this lane over here, stand on top of it, do slash slash copy, go over here, do slash slash paste and there we go. For the last lane we want this one. Simply stand on it, slash slash copy it, and slash slash paste it. And there we go, we made ourselves a nice floor over here. You can, you can also stack uh, into the air. I will show you. Slash slash stack 5. And there we go, it's stacked into the air. But since we don't want that, we can do slash slash undo. Okay. So now we have these four blocks on our clipboard right now. Why isn't it showing it? Doesn't matter. You can still see that I selected them. There we go. But let's say I want to clear my clipboard. I do not know why. I have never used it command. But for completion of this tutorial, I will discuss the commands. Simply do slash slash deselect, and now if I do slash slash set to glass, uh, it says I don't have a select. I don't have a selection. We will simply select the four blocks again and use a different command to deselect, because you could also do that with slash slash uh, cell instead of decel. It says selection cleared, and now we do no longer have a selection. And there's even a third command that is slash clear. Oh no, wait, this is uh, for, let's say I copy these four blocks by standing on them, slash slash copy. As you can see, I do slash slash paste. And this is also a command that I haven't ever used, but I can now simply do slash clear clipboard 
and now if I do slash slash paste there is nothing to paste because my clipboard is empty I have never used this command but I will still teach you what it does okay so now one of the more difficult commands let's say we have something like this over here you can make it as big as you want but we want this to be over here but mirrored like over we want it to be like this since it's six blocks it's fairly easy to build but you can but you can also do this with, with world edit so i will show you how to do that simply select this region first and copy it now we will uh, uh, remember we stand we stood over here so if I was would stand over here it would be like this slash time 6000 because not night time this will be different but we don't want this we want it to be mirrored so we have to undo this we can simply use the slash slash flip command we want to flip this to the other side so we would do slash slash flip and we want to flip it around the player like uh, use me as an axis so that would be minus P and then we want to flip it to the left you could do right top bottom whichever way you want to mirror it and now if we would send over here and do slash slash paste it is mirrored because it's flipped around me and there you go that's the slash slash flip command and now we have a one uh, more command to discuss which is the slash slash cut command so let's say I select this part over here do slash slash cut it will be uh, like the same when cutting something in uh, with uh, regular text and and now we can do slash slash paste to get the same selection we just cut uh, to paste that again it works the same as copying but then you also uh, rem set all the blocks to air in your selection so there we go that's uh, uh, part 4 of our world edit tutorial I hope to see you on part 5 bye bye guys